In this video, I'm going to share with you a defense that has taken me way too long to find. Um, a defense that is going to help you a guard bunch tight end. A defense that's going to help you guard any formation where the quarterback's goal is to scramble out of the pocket, escape artists, all that. Um, this is probably my favorite defense for escape artists yet. And I'm really excited to share it with you in this video because it's a real subtle uh, tip. But I think it's something that is super, super practical, super valuable. And honestly, the beauty of this is that it's really not that hard uh, to set up, which is something that makes this really good. Now, you're going to get an instant sack if they run PA boot over. Just throwing that out there right out of the gate. Now, if you're new to the channel, like I said, hit the sub button. We upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Hit the channel. Also, today we're talking about nickel triple. You guys know I love nickel triple. I've also got ebooks on 335 will, 335 wide, 245 odd, 335 odd. I've got 14 offensive defensive ebooks this year. If you want to get all of them for one price, join the Patreon. There'll be a link in the description if you want to sign up for that. It gives you in depth um, breakdowns, written setups, all that stuff uh, out of all these ebooks. Now, today I'm going to be giving you just a simple concept that you can use to contain. And it comes to us out of the nickel triple cover three sky. Now you can find the nickel triple in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. And we're going to go pee but over. Now here's the problem. Here's the problem. If you don't already know with pee but over. So I'm going to hit contain. I'm containing my edge. You see the contains. All you do is you slide your line to the right. You block the tight end. And the contains don't do anything. And now I can roll out pretty much have all day and then I can either throw my crosser I can throw my post like everything's open at that point okay ironically this defense and how you set this up is fairly simple and I actually like to go ahead and leave these outside outside thirds a little bit backed off and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy down in the box now when I bring this guy down in the box I'm going to put this guy into a third um, so as you see right here he's going to go into a third and then I like to go ahead and honestly just pr hit protect the sticks. Um, that's going to help with bombs. Another reason why I like to do that is if I shade coverage down and then I protect the sticks, it's going to give me kind of 10 yard flat. So I'm going to do pretty good against slants and some of the crossers um, that are in this formation. But this is really going to help me guard the post. So then now all I've got to guard with my user is the post or the, the crosser. Okay. Now, as far as a, a, a blitzing concept, what you're going to do is you are going to, uh, I like to put that linebacker on the bunch tight or on the tight end side into a flat. And then we're going to blitz this guy. Now it's really important that you do this first. Crash your line out. Notice it's going to give you a little bit different of a blitz angle than you might have expected. You see this little crash out angle uh, to Isaiah Simmons here. Okay. We're going to then blitz Baker. And when we blitz him, we're just going to move, we're going to hit contain, and then we're just going to move him just a step. So he's on the contain. We don't want to move him down. We want to keep him backed off because when he's backed off, he's going to be much, much more consistent in defending this, uh, this QB rollout. And then we're going to use this guy right here. And we want to stand kind of right behind this linebacker. We can shoot the inside zone right through here relatively easily, but we're just going to simply cover the crosser. What you're going to notice here, we're going to pass commit. And at the snap of the ball, I'm going to slide to the right. I'm going to block my tight end, snap of the ball. And as you see, we get an instant sack every single time. We will get an instant sack pretty much every single time. Again, it's real simple from a setup perspective. Just bring this guy down in the box. Um, you don't even have to. You, you don't have to do that. Uh, but I like to. It just helps a little bit. Uh, crash your line out. QB contain. And then you just want this guy to be on the contain. From there, it's pretty much set up. You could take this guy if you wanted to and man him up on the running back if you're maybe worried about the bomb. Uh, but what I honestly like to do is just put him in a flat, and then we're going to go protect the sticks. So we shade down, protect the sticks, so we get these cloud flats just like so. And then what you're going to see, now I'm going to double team. Notice I can't double team the contain. So at worst case scenario, he's going to keep me in the pocket. Best case scenario, we're still going to get that sack. So snap of the ball, come down. And as you see, contain comes completely free before they can even move. And it's a sack every single time. Again, this is a huge, huge, huge concept 
because now we're going to be able to contain some of these mobile quarterbacks. Okay, you have to crash your line out though. I want to improve that, so I'm going to not crash my line out here. So you see here, look at the blitz angle of Simmons. You see he's not on a crash down angle, and I want you to notice what happens. So I'm going to go back to my same thing. Now this will contain the quarterback fairly okay, but it won't it won't uh, get the sack for you. And you'll notice this right here. So you see that? See how he picks him up, and then I can make a pass. Okay? So to me, it's really important that we're able to actually shut down the quarterback completely. And that's why I like to crash my line out. You can literally just crash your line out, QB contain, or blitz that guy, QB contain, move this guy over if you're not too worried about a seam streak. Or you could, you know, kind of roll this guy down like this, and then basically just live with it. I mean, this is fine. You can do this too if you want to. Um, this five band pressure I'm going to show you, not only will it come in against rolled out boot over, um, but you also, it will also, uh, come in completely free if they send five out on a route, if they, I mean, this is going to come in. Okay. That's the bottom line. It's going to come in. So let me show you another concept. This is the bomb, uh, concept out of this formation. So it's the same exact setup. Bring this guy down. Um, crash your line out, blitz this guy off the edge, QB contain, just slide him in just a little bit. You're standing right here with your user. And what you'll see is we're going to loop around the contain for a sack. They're not going to have time to throw the ball. To me, it's huge. It's a huge, 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 huge tip, right? They can't pick up the, they really can't pick up the blitz. Um, if you want to show blitz, I want to show you one thing here. So if you show blitz, and run this concept, you'll notice that you're going to get this 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 kind of pre-snap look, right? I've noticed just from testing that when he's on the line of scrimmage, uh, specifically against bunch tight end, it's not as consistent on the rollout. You see how he gets picked up there, and then I've got enough time, you know, I might be able to burn you over the top if you blow a coverage. So I like to just leave him just a, a step off the line. Um, if you If you want to show blitz, you can do that. Just make sure that when you blitz him, you move him back behind. You want him blitzing from depth. It does help significantly, and it allows you to keep another guy in coverage so you only have to blitz five. Now, uh, I want to show you something else real quick. Let's say, for example, they go to a setup like this out of curl flat corner where they're going to send four out, but they're going to block their running back. This should still be pretty good against a blocked running back. Um, right there, we weren't completely consistent. I think part of that's because our linebacker got moved out of the gap. Um, but typically, a contain um, is it, it's going to be fine against a against a uh, a blocked running back. So we'll just put the tight end on a post. We'll just do something kind of like this, uh, just to kind of give a little concept here. We'll do something like that, okay? And then we're going to block the block the running back again. Just crash your line out. Blitz the safety here, QB contain, slide him in just a step, and then you know again if you want to if you want to leave that guy up top you can. I like to roll him down and put that linebacker in the third. I just think it plays a lot better uh, and it allows us to get an ad another player uh, down in the box. Make sure you're pass committing, and then what you'll see here I'm blocking the running back, snap of the ball, and didn't come didn't come in completely. Uh, probably is the better way to pick this up. But against block tight end, and which is the meta, and boot over, which is the meta, this is a fairly good concept. If you notice that they're consistently going to say, you know what, we're going to go ahead and, and do that, where we're going to block the running back now, because you know they're like, well, we figured you out. All we have to do is block the running back. All you have to do is just run this guy off the line of scrimmage now. Literally just by, I mean, you just run him off the line of scrimmage. See how he's off the line of scrimmage here? and you're going to be fine you're still going to contain the rollout too by the way but now um, you're going to have a lot better of a chance at coming in consistently against a blocked running back okay so that is what i'm doing right now if they are rollout type players or bunch tight end i actually think this is a pretty good defense against bunch tight end for most of what bunch tight end wants to accomplish if you actually think about it what i would do is take this backside guy and maybe man him up on the slot um, you could roll that guy down. You could even, I mean, there, I mean, yeah, you, I'd probably leave that guy outside third. Um, well, I mean, you do have this guy manned up, so you could take this guy on the backside 
and put him on whatever. You're kind of shadowing the running back, if you will, here. Um, but what I like about this is now, you know, it gives us someone that can kind of still hang with that crosser uh, if we need him to. And then we also have, you know, kind of our zones over here. And then if we want to, we could just man up the running back, kind of shadow the tight end, or we could drop this guy to the flat. And then if the running back comes across our face or the tight end comes across our face, we just know that that's our responsibility. But now you see, I mean, this is a pretty good defense uh, for one of the best plays in the game. So I want to thank you for watching the video. If you are still watching and you want to check out the rest of the ebook, head on down to the description below. You can check out the Patreon for just 10 bucks a month. You get access to everything that I have. Uh, I would really encourage you to check that out. Again, if you're still watching, head down to the description, click that link, and go check out the Patreon membership.